Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. It's Prophet Yaquim. And God just put this word on my spirit. We're going to discuss for the brother's semen retention the things you can expect on semen retention. Amen. Number one is just an increase in energy. You're going to have an increase in energy. Amen. Especially if you are you know, eating healthy. You are actually working out, applying yourself, you know, walking, being active. You will notice you have an increase in energy. And that might come, you know, two months down the line, maybe a month down the line, maybe some of y'all right away. You know, we all had different bodies. You got to know thyself. And you got to know how to utilize that energy too. You know, great power comes, great responsibility. And a lot of people, the reason why they realize is because they don't know what to do with themselves. They got so much energy, got so much testosterone. They don't know, know if they should just jump off a cliff or you know, go back to their old ways of you know, smoking, drinking, masturbating, you know, fornicating, just waste their energy because they don't know what to do with themselves because they have so much energy. You, know, that you want to use that energy f first and foremost to create self-loving practices in your life and to find out who you are and to grow in your identity in Christ. Amen. To learn more about the spiritual realm, for the spiritual realm is everything, y'all. The spiritual realm is everything. Everything first manifests in the spirit before it takes place in the physical. Like in the beginning when God said, let there be light for the earth without form. And it was in complete darkness. Right? So there was nothing there. But God brought forth life by his word. So you got to bring forth life into your life by your words. Your words are powerful. You create with your words. You create the life you want to live. So you got to have that self-control, that temperance, which is a gift of the Holy Spirit. To con control yourself and your urges and your flesh. And just know if you sow to the flesh, you're going to reap corruption. Right? So... Going back to the flesh, man, is never the option. Never the option. Going back to masturbating, you know, the adult websites, fornication is never the option, brothers. That's the, that's straight death. That's death. So, learn how to transmute that energy, man, to better your life, man. If you got to work out two times a day, three times a day, if you got the time. If you have, you can read. Always learn, man. There's so much to learn today. Always learn. Always learn. Always be a student. In Jesus my name Number two You know you can even experience an increase in ing Aggression Aggression Right it's just a manhood is coming back to you Masculinity And that don't mean you want to go out here spazzing on people You want to be um, In your house Messing up your house Messing up your car You know I don't know y'all seen but I've seen people do this in real time man People who you know they can't control themselves They got no self control is really lacking In today's time you know, um, I knew someone who had a car and they used to just, you know, kick kick on a car, man. Like, so I was like, you know, just that lack of self-control, that aggression as well. So you want to make sure you transmute in that energy into something positive for yourself. And of course, are you going to be perfect? No. But you don't want to be out here making your life even worse by your own anger because you can't control yourself so i always pray to god for temperance and self-control you know always like i said knock out some push-ups squat pull-ups do what you got to do to transmute that energy number three the stairs you gonna get looks you gonna get looks you might not catch them but you might catch some of them you know what i'm saying people gonna be looking at you people gonna be talking about you because it's Spiritual, like I said, everything is spiritual. You are emitting a frequency. We all emit an aura, a frequency, as we walk in places, as you walk out of places. You know, like when someone walks past you, you, know, you can smell the perfume, their cologne, if they musty or whatever, right? And the same thing, you know, with a frequency. People can feel love off you, man. Like people can really feel if you're a loving person. People can feel if you are a pure person. Like you can feel if someone has it's the gift of discernment have evil tendencies towards you you know what i'm saying that's a gift of discernment like someone 
is angry at you or someone's gossiping about you or they don't wish you the best or they just being double-minded like backhanded compliments they saying how they mess with you but you can feel like you you acting funny like they saying oh i mess with you man congratulations but you can just feel the vibe that they not really messing with you like they say they are that's the gift of discernment y'all and once you are increasing and seam retention, you know, you're going to have a lot of jealous spirits, a lot of envious spirits, a lot of people who are going to be in competition with you, comp competitors, you know what I'm saying? And it's just stuff you can't control, honestly. So you will have to just embrace all that and learn how to move forward in God and always put God first in everything that you do, you know. Just pay him no mind, right? If people ain't doing for you, People not care about you. Why would you worry about them, right? Don't let your feelings get the better of you, because a lot of people not on. A lot of men are not on seam retention today, amen. So people take notice real quick, man. I promise you, people take notice, especially when you get to like, you no, know, I say a season, a season in. You know, your hair gonna go thicker. You're just going to walk with more confidence. You gonna be able to make eye contact, right? You gonna be intimidating to people as well. You know, you just becoming the man that God destined you to become. It's a great thing. It's a great thing, man. And you wanna continue that. You don't wanna forsake that energy. You wanna. You don't wanna forsake the progress you are making on scene retention. Like I said, it's all about self love, y'all. It's all about self love, pouring to yourself. And utilizing that energy, man, going hard, going hard in the gym, going hard in your studies, you in school, going hard in your business. Just, especially if you're young, you're youthful, even if you're old, you know what I'm saying? That's how powerful semen retention is. There's even men in their 60s who out here rip. They out here got, they just doing good for themselves, man. I be like, man, I gotta get on my stuff, boy. It just show you how the power of semen retention, man, is you just taking care of yourself. You know, these men in their 50s and the 60s, they talk about scene retention as well. How they living well, they are doing well for themselves, they are in great physical shape. It just tells you how important it is to work out and stay on scene retention, get it, stay away from drama, and continue just to you know, elevate in life, in Jesus my name, right? So, brothers, those are the three things you really got to pay attention to on scene retention is your energy levels the people staring at you and the aggression your aggression amen and for me personally i don't really go through that you know I'm, I'm i'm a meek and lowly spirit just like my master jesus christ but i know for a lot of other people you know a lot of people pop off like like that amen that's the evil spirit as well you know god does not give us the spirit of aggression and of wrath, right? That's vengeance belongs to the Lord. So always pray for meekness, for lowliness, to get rid of the spirit of pride, brothers. So I pray this video bless you. Stay on scene retention, brothers. I believe in you. Flee from the from temptation, just like Joseph, when Potiphar's wife was trying to entice him daily. Flee from it, y'all. Flee, flee. Pray, pray fast. But I'm telling you, it's not worth it, brothers. It's not worth it. It's just temporal gratification that will never satisfy you. Always like, comment, and subscribe. Become that best version of yourselves, brothers. In Jesus' my name, God bless you.